Well, hi everyone. Yeah, it's me, Scott. Yeah, I'm the old man. And today, yeah, I know I haven't been on, on YouTube for quite a while. Haven't made quite a few videos because I've been having some phone troubles. So it's the way it goes. Anyway, today I'm going to make some venison burgers. So uh, let me show you what all I got going here. First, I'll be using the uh, LEM number 12 grinder, which has a three-quarter horse motor, and that little bugger chews through everything. There it is, all set up, ready. I've got my collection pan, my cutting boards, I've got my suet, and my ground beef, and my venison, all ready to go through that grinder. So uh, let me get this all set up and uh, we'll get the video going. I also have on this side the clear plastic wrap. That's an industrial stuff that they use like in the uh, delicatessens and everything. So I wrap each and every individual burger in that and put a sticker on it to tell me when I made it and put it on a tray so that I can go in the freezer and they'll freeze nice and flat. Yeah, I've got about uh, 10 pounds of venison in there and uh, two one pound packages of suet, which I had the grocery store grind for me. That, that makes it a lot easier for my grinder because you don't have to run it through the grinder and it, it, it's really hard to grind stuff. And then I've got some uh, ground beef about seven and a half pounds of ground beef because it's, the venison itself is so dry that uh, you need to put in some kind of moisture stuff and that's where the ground beef and the suet come in, into play. Okay, I've got my venison ready to go in. Grinder's all set, so let's fire that bugger up and uh, get some uh, burgers made. You can see as fast as you drop it in, it's getting ground up. So I'm gonna get a little closer for you. Just that fast. As you can see, uh, there's very little fat in there. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the uh, ground beef to it and mix it up and then sprinkle some of that suet over the top of it to get a good mixture. So I've got about a 60% oh, fat, 60-70% uh, to 70% fat uh, with all of the, the dried up venison or really lean venison. So I want to make it a juicy hamburger. There I've got the two pounds of suet mixed in with all of that uh, venison and now I'm going to add the ground beef so that I'll end up with a uh, about a 75 percent uh, uh, fat content or 75 25 for the mixture which would be good for uh, the burgers and I'll run this whole mixture back through the grinder but this time I'll be using this little guy so you keep your fingers out of it. Well, there you have it. One big, gigantic venison burger. So it's about a 75% uh, uh, fat content on it. So it should turn out pretty good. I'll start making the third pound burgers and uh, get all this cleaned up. And we'll talk to you later. Well, there you go. 32, 35, 35 
one third pound patties and six one pound packages of ground venison. Yummy. Hey, that's it for now. Um, I hope you like this. I haven't done this one in a long time. So uh, you guys take care and uh, God bless. Tell your friends about it and uh, don't forget to uh, keep watching those videos. Well, there you go. Well, just a minute. Prost. Good stuff, yeah. You saw me making or grinding deer venison, and maybe you were paying attention, maybe you weren't, but that was a test. Actually, the grind or the mixture that you want to have is 75% meat, 25% fat content. That way, uh, because the venison is so dry, uh, it'll be a good a good mixture for your hamburger. So uh, until next time, share this with your friends. Uh, don't forget to hit the like, and um, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye now.